Howdy y'all, I'm Bishop Floyd Haler, and I'm here to say something to you. I'm sure that y'all know by now the Ten Commandments. You should, after growing up in a Christian family, or learning a thing or two about religion when you were growing up. The first commandment, which is, I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt have none other gods but me. But in a more modern translation, that is, I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other gods but me. And I know that some people may think that's a bit unreasonable. And especially as we read through the Bible and we, re we, we read how God had punished Israel and Judah simply because they worshipped other gods. And I know some people may think, well, that's a bit unreasonable. God's going to punish us because we choose to worship other gods? Well, I want to say something about that. When we read the second commandment, God says, You shall not create unto thyself any graven image of that which is in heaven above, or in the earth beneath, or in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, nor worship them. Now pay attention to what I'm about to say next. The Lord concludes that by saying, For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. Think about that for a minute. I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God? Basically, the first two commandments are all about worshiping God and God alone. God wants us to worship Him and Him alone. He is the only God to be worshipped. Basically, what that means, grave an image. What he's talking about are idols. People create all these images that are graven. These images that are supposed to represent godly beings in heaven, on earth, and in the ocean. Basically, they're idols. People bow down to idols as if they're actually bowing down to a god. So basically, the first two commandments are one and the same. Well, they're two and the same, I should say. But anyway, they're both saying the same thing. They're saying we are not to worship any other gods and we're not to bow down to any god or any image of a god. Because God is a jealous god. Think about that. Think about a wife who's married to a handsome man, and they have a good relationship together. And then one day, the man decides that he wants to flirt with another woman, that he wants to love another woman who is not his wife. How does his wife feel about that? He's je she's jealous. I almost said he. Sorry. I meant to say she would be jealous. And that is exactly how God feels only give our attention to other gods instead of him. And besides, these gods don't even exist. Zeus, Anubis, Thor, not to offend any Marvel Comics fans, but the superhero Thor is based upon the Norse god Thor. It's the same god. It's the same person, whatever. But anyway, the point is the same. You see, God wants to have a personal relationship with us. All other gods, they don't care. All they care about are being the mightiest beings in the universe and having humanity subject to them. But God, on the other hand, he actually wants a relationship with us. He is our father. He is our friend. God is considered to be the husband of Israel, and Jesus Christ is, su is supposed to be the bridegroom, or the husband, to his, to his bride, which is the church. So, when God's wife and Jesus' bride turns away from him and goes after other men, so to speak, other gods, how do you think that makes God and Jesus feel? As the Lord says, I am a jealous God. God doesn't want to share us with anyone. No different than your wife doesn't want to share you with any other woman. You may read the Bible, you may, th you may think that some of these things are unreasonable, but when you really think about it, no, they're not. They're not so unreasonable. They reflect us in a certain sense. You see, wives who are, who are jealous because their husbands flirt and, I don't want to say this, sleep with other women, that's how God feels about humanity when they worship other gods. It's very profound. And, you know, there's a lot of truth to what you just said. Because it is the truth. It is the Lord's truth. So, if you other think that God is being unreasonable because he says you, he, that you should not worship any other gods or have any graven images to bow down to and worship. 
just take the time to consider. When you do that, God is jealous because God loves you and he wants a relationship with you. Just like how a wife loves her husband and wants to have the relationship with her husband. That's my challenge to you. Think about that. And you'll come to realize that that is more than truthful. Thank you for watching our video. Goodbye and God bless. But before you go, I'm going to give you all the blessing. May God Almighty bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen indeed. God bless y'all. May Jesus Christ be with you every day. And, <clears throat> in the words of a non-denominational preacher that I know, may our Lord Jesus Christ go above you to protect you, go beneath you to uplift you, go beside you to befriend you, go before you, before you to lead you, go behind you to encourage you, and go into you to transform you, now and forever. That is so beautiful. Amen.